we'd left Cap Breton at dawn. Glassy calm sea and forecast force one. And the day just got better as we crossed the invisible border between France and Spain. Well, we're in Spain, San Sebastian. Amazing place. I know I say amazing all the time, but wow, it's just so different. We, we came down the sand dunes of uh, southwest France, and then suddenly we've got mountains. And uh, look at it, an, an incredible entrance as well to the harbour here. We're following a little fishing boat in, but very little windy little old entrance to the harbour. There's no real provision for visiting boats here. We moored on the only visitor's pontoon, rafting alongside a yacht. The town's crammed with Spanish Basque character, architecture and charm. Proper continental breakfast in San Sebastian. Café con leche, orange juice, and a great big croissant. San Sebastian's a magnet for visitors from around the world, and it's easy to see why. I've had a smile on my face all morning. It's a glorious morning, the sea's calm. We're in Spain, we're in San Sebastian. It's unbelievable that our Sea Line 34 and us are here in Spain. It's, uh, ah, I just can't stop smiling. It's great and the town is fantastic. It's a really cool town, old part of it. Really fascinating town. Now I just can't get the smile off my face. It's, it's um, it's a great day. Leaving San Sebastian behind, we headed along the north Spanish coast. The next stop, only a few nautical miles away. We just pulled into uh, Jeteria, which is on the north coast, about six or seven miles west of San Sebastian. And we're going to eat our way along the coast and we're going to call here for lunch. Just a small marina, uh, fishing port, and it's got an old church we might have a look at. Looks a lovely little town, so lunch here. This is a stroke of luck. We've pulled into this little port, this little town. It's incredible. Narrow, windy streets, busy fishing harbour, all the tuna fleet out there. It's an astonishing place, great place for lunch. <laughs> 